uh, I had gone previously with dad and mom, and we had visited Genoa and found Ponte Tejimo and so on, um, and had found really no one, found a lot of records and so on. But I was back, uh, and my area of cover was uh, Europe and North Africa, handling uh, UNIVAC. And so I was in Italy for an extended period teaching a NATO course, and I went back to Ponte Tejimo and started just asking for Gilionis, and eventually somebody found a couple Gilionis for me. They, they were quite elderly, and they were very uh, nice. I got a written note that said, would you like to come for, you know, a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or whatever it was. And I went to the house, and the house had uh, some maids in like a butler, and they met me at the door, and they seemed to be very taken back uh, by me taken a back, and I couldn't figure it out, and they led me, and there was a picture of me. It looked like me. That was in the 1700s, and I was young then. I had my hair pulled up in a bun and so on, and of course, that sort of mocked the kind of hairdo that was in the, in the portrait, and there was somebody who had my nose and my eyes and my face shape sitting there, very much more gussied up. <laughs> It was, a, it was a real shock. It was like seeing a double. And uh, I don't know that the Gilionis, who were quite elderly, were as impressed as were the staff, but it, it almost scared me. It startled me because it was real background connection. <laughs>